Just here into another tench. Still at Listen Shanna. They weren't huge tucks, Stephen. Look at yeah. this, he's strong, he's stronger than the woman. This is the swim we cleared uh, about a week ago. It's a very unfished lake and it took a while to actually clear a swim. There seems to be a lot less movement than before so perhaps the spawning is finished. But we have set up swim feeders on the bottom with red imitation maggots uh, to uh, they're buoyant so they just float off a few inches off the bottom which uh, brings brings the attention of what we think is in there the tench we we did catch some small perch here the last day so there are perch in here as well uh, there's definitely rud in where we caught a few rud uh, it's 6.44, I've been here. The rods are in since about 6.15. And nothing yet. But let's see what happens. Stephen as usual is in bed. And what are you joking Stephen? Stephen's on the way. So, we're going to fish this pretty well this morning and we'll give it our best shot. We think there's tension here, um, but we'll see. They could be just big rud and, and pike that are moving, but I'm pretty convinced I saw uh, telltale signs of tench, brown tails, uh, flapping on the lily pads, that sort of thing. But. Um, Beautiful morning. We've had a nice stretch of weather in Ireland. We hit a record temperature for the year yesterday. And it's perfect conditions, early morning conditions for tench fishing. So let's, let's hope that, 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 we, that we get something. We can take a nice video for you later. Yes, we're here at Ballyho and as you can see, the fishing wasn't very exciting. So we reverted to testing the depth in a more uh, uh, unorthodox method. Stephen got in. Show us, uh, show us the depth there, Stephen. <laughs> right. So you're what five ten? Five nine. And go on back a bit till, till we see you disappearing. So just with this small ten yard cast. It's already six foot deep where Stephen is there, easy. And quite amazing because when you're fishing, it looks like it's a gradual. Or just six and a half foot easy. Good morning. We are at Ballyhoe Lake. Uh, we are ledgering off the bottom. I'm using. Uh, just a few triple A's, a hook, pop-up maggots popping off three inches off the, the bottom. And we've caught um, a few roach and perch so far. And Stephen had 
some very big takes on his rod struck into something very big lost lines on two occasions striking and um, some very big big tents just off the lilies there took his hook and ran with it basically um any insights on it Yeah, so the guys, the remaining guys that I was talking to before down in Listen Shanna, they, they said that they aren't afraid of using 15 pound line for tents, 12, 15 pound line, because they actually pull your rod in when they hit. And the small tents that we caught in Listen Shanna before, um, they they really did pull the rod like a like a like quite a big pike would 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 hit the bait. They hit hard when they do hit. They sniff around it at the start. And Stephen is getting just a few chucks there. Yeah, we have, we arrived about half six, seven, and there was some fizzing, the bubbles coming up on the surface, which was a good sign. And we did, and it was, it was around half an hour after that that Stephen got his big hits, but still have some hope it's still quite early it's uh, 10 o'clock so until about 12 we think we should continue to get bites Steven's still a bit overawed by the the missed hits earlier and you know he's got to bounce back from that you know the important thing is, is how you bounce back from such disappointments Especially when Robert next to you is catching a lot of fish. <laughs> um, this is Ballyhoe Lake, so we understand it's a very good pike lake. I saw a big pike jumping here last week. Uh, during the winter, up to 10, 20 pike per day can be caught in this lake. There is a slip stream for the boat just here. Uh, yeah, we, we'll... we'll We'll report back later, hopefully we'll have some fish for you. Beautiful tench. With a beautiful red eye. Lovely fish. And we'll just get him back in now. So, myself and Rob are here at St. Carrick Cross. And lo and behold, we have found Tinka Tinka. The tench. Uh, what time is it? It's 20 to 10 in the morning, it's quite late and they just took a ledger, a ledger with um, two worms, two worms on it. So it's just on the three pound weight, female tench. And as they say, perseverance pays off. Let's get her back in. Keep net or in? Oh, keep net. In with all the peddlers that we've caught. Okay, let's get cracking. Another beautiful tench caught on floating ledger. Just gonna let him back in. Thank you, fish. <laughs> 